first thing to talk about new signing in the building this week in, in Jensen Weir just t- yeah. tell us a little bit about him um, what, what, how you got him uh, and what he's going to bring to the team He's somebody we've been interested in uh, for a while. Uh, he obviously had a really good loan at Morecambe um, 18 months ago and it's some, somebody who we wanted to bring in in the summer. Um, obviously Brighton uh, decided he's going to go, to go somewhere else. Um, and from, from Jensen's point of view, it's been a, a disappointing loan. He's not, not, not got the game time he would have wanted for a variety of reasons. So obviously we, we've lost a number of midfield players over the last few weeks and we looked at the qualities that he can bring and hopefully add to our group and we're delighted that we've managed to recruit him so really in, in the window. Ten goals and five assists I think for Morecambe it was last year as well and you know, given Ben Garrity's absence that, 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 that helps as well to get be able to get goals from midfield. Every team kind of needs a player like that. Yeah, listen, as, as I keep saying to you guys, we're trying to become better um, and whether that's with or without an injured Ben Garrity, we want to get better, we want to add competition for places, we want to become a better team, a better club, and, and bringing in the, the quality of player that, that we brought in, in, in Jensen in, improves us. We obviously don't want to have players injured, we want everyone available and fit, but unfortunately we, we're not in that current state. So yeah, he, he comes in, and he's obviously, but as I say, he's not had the game time he would have wanted at, at Blackpool, so we, we have to consider that as well, obviously in, in the early few weeks that he's here. But what it, what he is, as you say, is a, is an attacking midfield player who's proven that he can score goals and, and create chances in this league. But he also comes here with that added motivation uh, of of almost a waste of the first half of the season for him. No, I suppose that, does that factor into a footballer's appetite as well when they when they decide to come to a new club if they've had maybe not a bad experience but they haven't played many minutes and and here he, he may well do. So does that does that factor into it when you're when you're trying to get players that the, the opportunities you can offer? Them? Well, ultimately he, he obviously has a decision to make. We we made our interest. Uh, to, to him and obviously to, to Brighton he had other op- options he had other choices he, he could have gone to um, but I would like to think on the back of what we've done in the first half of the season with the players we've had in on loan and how we've looked after them off the pitch uh, and the game time that we've we've given them when they've been available and fit and playing well that he's looked at that and thought yeah I would like to be I would like to be part of that and, and say it strengthens um, what we're trying to do in terms of loans, we, we've now obviously had players from, from Tottenham, from Sheffield United, um, Crystal Palace, uh, Swansea in the Championship. Uh, and I think they're now looking at us and thinking, yeah, that's a good place for us to de- develop our young players. Next question, of course, is any more for any more? Is there, can we expect anything more soon? I hope so, yeah. yeah so we, we want to get better, we want, we want to improve, we want to improve on the, on the first half of the season. Um, we, we want to strengthen the group. As I said to you last week, it takes a, a lot of things for to, to transfer somebody in. Uh, obviously, us wanting them, the club willing to let them go, agents, etc., etc. So, a lot of things have to fall into place. But we are we're certainly looking to, to improve. Yeah. Can you give us an insight as to what the the market's like in, in in January now? Because people will see players who aren't playing and assume, well, you could go and get them. So, what is is it a buyer's market this time of year? Is it a seller's market? A loans market? What what is it like from from your perspective? We, we haven't got spare 25 million to go and, to go and sign a, a centre forward from the Spanish division. So um, we're looking as, as as we always are. We know we've been looking since the since the summer window of, of areas um, and players that we, we think can can add to what we've already got to, to say improve us. Um, I think competition is vital. Unfortunately, we, we've got a number of injuries, um, but say we're, we're always looking and we'll continue to look. Um, throughout this window uh, and then we'll be then looking at the next one. I suppose it's important to emphasise too, it's not just a matter of, like you've said, you see a player, want him, sign him. These moves can take weeks sometimes, can't they? And that's why you see a lot of moves tend to be towards later on the window or deadline day itself. They can, um, because lots of people have to agree that it's, it's the right thing for, for the player, etc. Um, but so we, we've been we've been looking and scouring and talking to, to people since the since the summer window. We've obviously looked at our own performances collectively as a team, uh, and where where we've done okay, where we've done well, but where areas that we need to get better at, uh, and that's what we'll continue to do. And if there's somebody available, um, whether that's on loan or whether that's permanent, we'll look to try and do it. Um, just a mention for Tom Conlon as well, who left the club this week. Obviously, been captain, got a promotion as well. Time for him to, to move on, but just a, a few words for Tom, who's been a, a good servant to the club for the last few years. He has, um, and I think when I first arrived at the club, um, he came became very close to single-handedly keeping the club 
up. Um, he was a massive influence on, on games in, the, in that in that period towards the end of the season. Unfortunately, since then, you know, he, he's picked up some injuries which have which have kept him out of the team. Um, but as, as Dave said in the statement, everyone at the football club wishes him all, all the all the luck in the world, success going forward, uh, and he'll always be welcome back here. Um, speaking more broadly about the the team itself and, and where you're up to at the moment, I know you were really frustrated after the Charlton game at, at some of the defensive lapses in that match as well. Um, just talk us through how you've tried to address that in the intervening week then because the game in which you played the attacking wise was really good but it, it was the, the opportunities at the back that you let go that cost you the, the three points. Yeah and, and there always has to be a balance between attacking and defending and as I said after the game I, I look at the majority of games we've played and I don't see that the other team has been that much better than us when we've lost games. We, we've caused our own problems um, in a variety of ways so, so it's something that We've, we've focused on a lot this week. Um, we're, we're based somewhere different um, from a training point of view because our training pitch is, is out of use at this moment in time. So we're, we're, we're very thankful for, for Newcastle for allowing us to train at their, their 4G pitch. Um, so we've made use of that this week. And it's about showing, talking, highlighting, demanding that we, we get better um, because we have to. Be, you know, and when you look at the, the, the games, certainly over this last four, six week period, um, we, we obviously had a problem scoring, creating and scoring goals. We've now doing that better. But we, whilst you can't always score two and three goals um, to, to win a game, so we have to become better as, as a team um, without the ball. We certainly have to defend it in our defensive third much better than, than what we are doing. Within the context of that, I know, I know you spoke a, a, a week or two ago about different combinations you've had to pick in your back three through form or, or injury or what have you. Not helped by Jesse obviously going off on Saturday. Um, how's he, and in the wider context of it, how frustrating has that been that you haven't managed to be able to get a settled back three and, and exploit the strengths that, that you know is in there amongst those players? Well, I, th I certainly think it's played a part um, in terms of the goals we've, we've conceded. Um, having played in that position and, and any successful team is, is built on a solid foundation and we've now played 14 or 15 different combinations in a back three in, in 25 games which is obviously far too many um, regarding Jesse obviously had to come off um, against Carlisle and he was carrying a, a hip problem over the, the Christmas period um, he trained fully Thursday and Friday uh, and the injury he picked up in the first half uh, against Charlton was totally un unrelated to that. Uh, it was a, a hamstring injury. Um, he's obviously had hamstring in injuries in the past uh, before he, f he came to the football club. So we were obviously assessing that as we go along. Um, it was enough to force him off in the, in the first half against Charlton. Um, but he came off injured against Carlisle in the first half and played on the Saturday, so we'll see how he progresses. In, in terms of the rest of the squad, um, where where are they up to? Uh, I think we know about Dan Jones, don't we, and, and Mitch and James Plant. Ben Garrity, I know you said kind of long term. Is there any more context you can put around that at all? Yeah, he, he's going to be a long term injury. As I say, he, he had the, the calf issue last season. Um, it's the. the the other calf this year, he's, he's a massive player for us, I think, for a midfield player to, to be in double figures um, just over the halfway stage of the season. It is massive credit to him. Um, he was almost held back last year in terms of his position for the benefit of the team. It took away his natural instincts, but I think he, he grew and he learnt more about the game. He's He wants to, to learn so much, Ben. He's, a, he's an incredible asset to our dressing room. Um, he's an incredible asset to, to our team on the pitch and we're going to miss him without a shadow of a doubt um, but you say we, 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 we now know we're going to miss him for, for a number of weeks and it, it's important then that we have been active in the transfer market and that other players step up because he's not going to be available we are going to miss his goals, we're going to miss his drive we're going to miss his determination, his running ability his quality so we have to find more from everyone else Lastly, off to Reading, uh, a team very different from the one you, you faced at the start of the season. Um, it, it, it's always hard, I suppose, trying to judge where a team like that is because sometimes the points deduction that we found with Wigan doesn't always truly reflect where they are on the table. What are you expecting from that game? Um, we're expecting a difficult game. Uh, we've also been looking at Reading um, and they're a well-coached team. I think it's obviously difficult circumstances at this moment in time for, for Ruben to manage the football club on a daily basis there always seems to be something going off but what I can say um, 
when I look at his team, they looked organised. They look like they've got good structure. I can see what they're trying to do. With with young players, sometimes you don't get that consistency. Um, but he's working in really challenging times uh, at the football club through no fault of his own. Um, it's, a, it's a former employee of me, so listen, I, I do wish them all the best going forward. I think they've they've obviously run into, into challenging times because of a, an ownership issue. Um, but we're going there on, on Saturday, not to to be worrying about Reading. We're going there to to win the game.